Dominic convinced me and he was right. One of the greatest railroad journeys you ever can make is in Mexico, taking the Ferrocarril Pacifico from Los Moches to Chihuahua. Our journey starts here, sea level, at the Gulf of California. Wide and sandy beaches, small restaurants, excellent seafood and ice cold beer, and at the end of the day, a beautiful sundown. All your heart wishes for a journey. Five o'clock in the morning and we are at the railroad station. We have parted the distance to Chihuahua in three day trips. This first day will be the most spectacular one. The train will climb from sea level to 2300 meters altitude. The landscape is beautiful, poor nature and we cannot see roads anymore. There is only the train, the rivers and the trees. The distance between Los Moches and Chihuahua is 655 kilometers. To my knowledge, six trains are making the distance each day. One freight train and two trains for persons from Los Moches to Chihuahua and vice versa. We are on the first train for persons. The other one, so someone told me, would stop at every point where someone is standing and waving a hand. There was a possibility for a freight train to pass. It took 10 minutes for the other train to pass our train. High in the mountains, the stations became more open and the indigenous tried to sell something to the passengers. Around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we reached our station, Posada. Mansion Tarahumara is a beautiful small hotel owned by an American lady. And you can say so, in the backyard of our hotel is a part of the Barranca del Cobre. An impressive and spectacular canyon, mostly unknown outside America and Mexico. It is wider and even deeper than the Grand Canyon. Parts of its bottom are at sea level and now we are standing in 2350 meters altitude. Here there is nothing but silence and there is our small hotel. This part of Mexico is called Sierra Tarahumara cause the tribe of the Tarahumara Indians are living here. Sometimes I believe for these people the time is standing still. This is not a tourist spot we have visited. It is their real home. The next day there was time to make some tourist things. Our train would leave our station around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And so we took a taxi and went to Divisadero. The canyon got its name from the Jesuiten Padres. They had searched for copper and they found a lot of very precious minerals here. Three o'clock in the afternoon, time to leave. 
only a short journey lays ahead to clear our next train stop. Yes, this kind of traveling is making a railway trip in its full sense. It's a short trip over the high plateau, and when I remember well, it took only two hours to go to Creel. Creel, a small Mexican town which is living from tourists and the wood industries. The town is surrounded from Tarahumara country and here are beautiful parks with crazy stone formations. This is the land of the indigenous. Here they are living since thousands of years and then end of the 17th centuries the Jesuit Padres found them and a lot of things are changing. There is El Sol and La Luna, wind, fire and earth, and not the Christian way to pray to God. The smart padres found a way to make the indigenous comfortable, so they could sit on the ground and they don't have to use chairs. The stairway to heaven is made out of wood like they are using it in their homes. Now we are visiting a very holy place, an ancient holy place of the indigenous. Water was the most precious thing they have had. There is no road, we have to follow the riverbed. We are lucky now, cause there is a cascade. There has been some rain in the past weeks. This place is for them as holy as maybe for the Christians the Peter's Dome in Rome. I could have stayed in this place, but our plans has been to go on to Chihuahua with a late train this afternoon. Sunlight is fading soon and we all are standing at the open doors of the train, trying to get as much impressions as possible. We are here on a high plateau, but here are still some strange and dangerous situations a train can pass. Nightfall and next morning Chihuahua. It was a beautiful journey from the Gulf of California to this town. And I know this is not once in a lifetime. I know this journey I will make again.